Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be covering the new feature in Lightroom, the color grading tab, which has uh, since replaced the split toning. So kind of does the same thing, but they've added an extra wheel for midtones to give you a little more control. So the uh, color grading tab is really cool. You can get some really interesting colors out of it. Uh. <sighs> You can get some really interesting colors out of it and I'm just going to go over some basic things you can do as well as how the uh, tab works. So uh, right off the bat we have our three circles, our shadows, midtones, and our highlights. Now before we would not have this midtone circle, we would only have these two and they would come in the form of a slider. So what you can do is you can essentially drag these, so say we're on our shadows here, and maybe we want to add some blues to our shadows. So we can drag this towards the blue, just like this. And this is kind of like the uh, like a transparency sort of, so I like to just keep that centered. Don't mess with this too much. Now say we want to add some reds to our highlights, so we can actually drag this over just ever so slightly. Now when I'm using these color grading tools, I tend to do them rather subtly because it's almost like a compound effect, right? So we've been editing this photo from uh, from the very beginning. We still have all of our basic adjustments and we're slowly adding on. So we've got our tone curve adjustments, we've added this, and we've kind of added some HSL adjustments. Now we're adding some color grading adjustments. So I like to keep things relatively subtle because they tend to build on each other as you're editing a photo. <clears throat> so we can now adjust our midtone, so our new slider. Now we can kind of just, I'm not really sure what I want to do with the midtone. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, so what I'm going to do is just kind of move this around until I find something that I'm relatively happy with. Maybe, whoops. Uh, so actually, uh, it's kind of locked it out here. We're just going to go like this. Double click if you want to reset it because there is this little circle here, which basically if you hit this circle, if we go in the direction and then click this circle, no, it's not going to lock. Come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. So what you do is you click this one, sorry, click it and it will lock it to that circle. So you can basically grab this circle now and move it around our slider here to fine tune this color and it will stay at this saturation. So you can kind of think of it as a saturation of zero to 100 for this specific value. So our midtones. So I'm thinking something that's kind of like this looks nice and maybe we'll drag it about there looks cool to me. You can of course hit Y on your keyboard just to see the before and after. Now this isn't just the before and after of color grading. This is the before and after of your entire image. And uh, personally, I really like the punchy colors we've got going on here. This is looking rather interesting and I'm kind of kind of digging it. So let's uh, take this a step further. We also have on the right side here, this last one called global. So as you can see also, as we've uh, punched in values for these, we've gotten a little circle underneath these three here. So our shadows, midtones, and highlights, these correspond to these circles here. And this circle here at the bottom just means that there is information in those specific areas. Now you can click on them to uh, make them larger. And of course, you've got your slider here. So if we just click on the three, this here is your luminance, just like I said before, and we can adjust the luminance if you would like, but I'm going to keep that zero. And here we have our global. So this one is essentially all our highlights, shadows and midtones in one specific hue slider and you can make global adjustments. Now, personally, uh, this actually looks rather nice right about there, to be honest. Uh, just do that, maybe just the luminance, uh, we'll leave that. Yeah, the global one, that one, you can think of the global as a overall filter you're applying to the entire image, but these three here are the ones that are gonna give you the most control over everything. So you can essentially fine tune your colors with this, or sorry, you can essentially set your colors with these three values here, and then you can use your global if you think that something needs to be changed overall. So adding a little bit of blues, Personally, I like blues in my image, but you can also bring that over here if you want to warm it up. And now you can see that it is a lot warmer and uh, the overall feel is warmer despite having the blues that we put in our shadows. 
Now down here we've got our blending and our balance. Essentially what these are going to do, you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, they're just going to kind of, it's, it's almost like a weight. So I kind of, how I see it is we've got our highlights and our shadows on this side. And as we slide it, it's going to push the values um, into those like further. So if we go further to the left here, it's going to push it further into the shadows the color tone we have in the shadows. And if we push to the right here, it's gonna push it further into the color tone we have on the highlights. But personally, I like to keep it at zero, but you can adjust this. It's uh, rather subtle, even even honestly, you can, it might be hard for you to see, but there is some slight color change in the bricks as I move it towards the left. And I do like the um, sort of orange, orangish yellow green kind of tint coming in here. So it's totally up to you, but uh, oftentimes I just keep this on zero. And same with our balance. You can see it's doing some stuff here. If we move it to the left, we're going into the shadows, which is blue. And the right, we're going more towards the uh, red-ish pinks in uh, our highlights. So even something like this looks pretty interesting to me. Maybe around there looks kind of cool. Now again, um, when I'm when I'm doing these values here, I'm not looking here. I'm looking at my image and I'm looking at specific areas. So I was looking at first I was looking here at the bricks, what it's doing to my bricks, and then I was looking at what it's doing to my skin tones, what it's doing to the color on the door. So you look at different areas of your image as you're adjusting sliders, just so you don't, because you know you can tell pretty easily if it's uh, destroying your colors while you're doing that. But if you're just staring over here and just kind of sliding stuff, you're not really going to know what it is changing. So that's pretty much it for the color grading. This is an, a, again, it's a very, very powerful tool. I would say color grading is just as powerful as your tone curve, and you can achieve some really interesting filtered looks through the color grading uh, tool here. Now you can also combine this with our snapshots. So quick reminder with our snapshots, if we just hit create snapshot and create, and now we can decide if we want to adjust these, say we want to just, uh, completely ruin our image. We can save a new snapshot and we have our old one saved right there. So we can uh, make fine adjustments, save it as a snapshot, make more adjustments, save as a snapshot and have this as sort of a non-destructive history um, that you can go back in time and adjust your image. So that is essentially it for color grading. Here's our before and after. We can also toggle the color grading. So here before and after it gives it some really nice blues, pushes in some blues and some purples into the shadows here. Um, really like the way this is actually looking, this edit. I might even have to save this preset out when we're done. Um, but that is essentially it for this video, guys. And next, we're going to be going into our details where we're going to be adding some sharpening and all that good stuff and our lens correction. So with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.